Hi, my name's Phil, I like talking about politics and in this video I'd like to explain how not for the first time the Brexiteers think they have a trump card which is actually on close inspection a boost for those of us who would like to join the EU. But first if you'd like to be notified of daily news and politics please subscribe to the channel. So there are a couple of Brexit themed charts flying around social media of late. Both are related to polling carried out on public attitudes to rejoining by the same company at the same time. Lots of pro-EU accounts are sharing this one. Shows that once you exclude the don't knows or won't vote, 63% would vote to rejoin and only 37% would vote to stay out. Now, I will keep reminding people, it's not valid to exclude don't knows from these charts. Don't knows may still vote, they just don't know how they would vote. We do ourselves no favours finding solace in unsuitable representations of data. That being said, the chart was published by the polling company, not pro-EU groups, so shows, you know, it shows more support for joining the EU than remaining in a third country, quite a lot more. And we're only a few years in, so that's a real sea change of attitude here. Only there's a second chart as well, produced as a result, as I say, of the same polling. This is the one Brexiteers are sharing. And they're asking, oh, why don't rejoiners show this one as well? Well, I have to say, I prefer the chart that's been shared by Brexiteers. It shows 52% wanting to stay out and 48% wanting to rejoin. The, 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 the fabled ratio there. But again, that's taken out the don't knows. So you look at this and you go, so hang on, Phil, how is this a better chart for rejoiners? because it's specifically asking about joining if we had to adopt the euro. Now, no surprise that the response changes if we have to adopt the euro, right? The issue of currency is massive. There's no point downplaying it. The issue of adopting the euro would turn a large margin of support in favour of joining the EU into a small margin of support for remaining a third country. That is of no surprise to me. And there is a way to deal with that. Should we hold another referendum in the foreseeable future? I've discussed it in the past, but I'm not going to talk about that here because it may not matter. And this chart shows that it may not matter. I always say, when you're looking at polls like this, pay less attention to the snapshots. Pay attention to the trends. This is a snapshot of what it looks like this month, as of sort of in the last week, right? What's it going to look like in a few years? That's what matters. The trend is not shown here, so you can't see it. You just see the snapshot. Is it on its way up? Is it on its way down? What's going on? And that's why Brexiteers think the issue of currency is their trump card, but it isn't. So I went to Wikipedia. They've, there's a page there that's collected all the various polls on UK support for joining the euro, going right back to 2000 when the euro was still in nappies. And the polls showed support starting from 18%, rising up to about 33% over the next couple of years as people saw, oh, the euro works quite well. And then over the intervening years, and especially the Brexit years, that support dropping down to just 11% in favour and 64% against in 2020. There's never been overwhelming support or even majority support for joining the euro, right? Four years ago, almost to the day, because this was February 2020, only 11% of the UK population supported joining the euro. Now look, we have a chart that shows 48% would support joining the euro if it was how we could rejoin the EU. Now, as I, as I noted before, it's not really 48% because they excluded the don't knows and the won't votes from that. When they are included, because they did provide that data as well, it's 39% in favour of joining the euro if that's what we have to do to join the EU. There has never been 39% support for joining the euro in previous polls and support lay at just 11% four years ago. And that's not the lowest it's ever been. This is the trend. Over a period of nearly 20 years, support for joining the euro went from 33% to just 11%. Then in just four years, because of Brexit, we now have 39% saying we need to join the EU and we will we are prepared to adopt the euro if that's what it takes. That's massive. As trends go, that is massive. Then imagine telling the public that the euro has been stronger than the pound as well and that adopting the euro will make it easier to stabilise the prices of basic goods and services. 
Uh oh, spaghettios. I'm not sure Brexiteers really realise what's happening here. And any Brexiteer waving this chart around like it shows them a good time is simply not paying attention. If I were a Brexiteer, I'd be scared of this chart. Yes, it shows support for rejoining under the likely conditions of having to adopt the euro is still in the rear view mirror. It's like, oh, your Brexiteers are still ahead. But it shows that it's catching up very, very quickly. The fact that stay out is slightly ahead at this point is not a concern to me. We're not ready to call for another referendum. It's not imminent. But imagine what this poll would look like in another four years time when we're getting ready for the next general election. I think rejoiners should be sharing this chart. We should be promoting the hell out of it. It shows that we're not there yet, but we are absolutely winning the argument. But there we are. Those are my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comments below. I hope you found the video interesting. If you did, please click the like button. And if you'd like to support the channel further, the join button for memberships. And until next time, I'll see you later.